In this next section, I'm going to describe a systematic approach to the identification and management of feeding difficulties. This slide depicts the six types of commonly encountered feeding difficulties, the first of which is feeding difficulty due to organic disease. This is the medical causation. All other types are non-medical or non-organic. The second type is the poor appetite that is a parental misperception. The next is poor appetite in a child who is fundamentally vigorous. The next is poor appetite in a child who is apathetic and withdrawn. Then, the feeding difficulty in the highly selective child. And, feeding difficulty due to fear of feeding. Poor appetite due to organic disease. The child with poor appetite and or food refusal resulting from medical problems or organic disease is an important type of feeding difficulty. We need to have a high index of suspicion for red flags for serious medical illnesses that may present this way, and in particular for those that present in a very subtle fashion. Examples of red flags suggestive of chronic underlying pathology include dysphagia, or recurrent chest disease or swallowing disorders that may be suggestive of underlying neurodevelopmental disorders. Failure to thrive, which can occur in the absence of organic disease, also may be suggestive of subtle conditions presenting such as celiac disease or renal tubular acidosis. Feeding interrupted by pain or vomiting may be suggestive of GERD or eosinophilic esophagitis. And there are a myriad of other causes demonstrated on this slide. The management of poor appetite due to organic disease consists of the treatment of the underlying pathology. However, the feeding difficulty may persist even after the treatment if there is a secondary behavioral component to the feeding difficulty, in which case this must be treated as well. As well, have a high index of suspicion for underlying subtle causes such as celiac disease and renal tubular acidosis. Children with underlying organic pathology may require a nutritional supplement depending on the underlying cause.